everybody. So as you can recall, our second tool is VoiceThread. So this is the home page of VoiceThread. You do have to have an institutional license to be on VoiceThread, which is one of the weaknesses in our SWOT analysis. However, there are many perks and many strengths to using VoiceThread as well. It's very interactive for students. It allows for multiple means of visualization because students can use closed captioning, um, they can use zoom in and zoom out features in VoiceThread. They can also submit comments via video, audio, or textual responses and collaborate with peers and their teachers. Um, they can listen to lectures in case they have a hard time reading. They can use closed captioning in case they have a hard time um, hearing the lecture. There's a lot of great perks to it. So as you can recall, our sample lesson was for a math class. So here in the VoiceThread homepage, you can see that we're in the Browse tab. And in our Browse tab, these lessons have already been made by other educators. And then you can also go into the Create tab. And the Create tab is where you can add your own PowerPoint or add your own media to be uploaded and then you can kind of create your own template. But for the purpose of this lesson, I am going to go ahead and go into our math lesson. So we are a fourth grade math class, so we'll go into K-12. If you are looking for something other than math lessons, <clears throat> as you can see, there's lots of different subjects here. If you go into science, for example, there's a couple. And these are just tied to my institutional license but there might be more in your institutional license. Okay, so now that we know how VoiceThread works and the bank of questions and bank of presentations we can use, as well as how to open our own templates, we can go ahead and get started on our example. So our math vocabulary example is for a fourth grade math class. This was a templated lesson, but I thought it did a great job. So we go on our first page and we can see that it's a math vocabulary, fourth grade with Carol Contini. If I click play, she will read the slide to you, but it's kind of loud, so I'm not going to do that. And then we can also see that we have closed captioning, and we also have the opportunity to zoom in, um, which makes it really good for students with visual impairments. So if we move on to our next slide, we see our vocabulary words, quotient, divisor, dividend, remainder, obtuse angle, acute angle, equivalence, associative property, etc. So we also see a little plus button down at the bottom, and you guessed it, this is how we comment. So we see that three students have already contributed to this lesson, and we can go ahead and contribute as well. If you press the plus button, you can see you can reply via textual response, via phone response, meaning make a comment using your phone, via audio response, via video response, or you can upload a response. You can upload a photo, etc. We can go ahead and reply a comment below. Hi, excited to learn about these vocab words. So now you can see that I've contributed. If we wanted to do a video response, we could. I don't want to interrupt the recording of my tutorial, so we won't do that for now. But you get the gist. If we wanted to zoom in because we have a hard time seeing, we can zoom in by using the plus button. And if we want closed captioning, if we were to click play, we can go ahead and try it now. The fourth grade um, vocabulary words that we will be discussing in this lesson are the following. Quotient, divisor, dividend, remainder, obtuse angle, acute angle, equivalence, and associative property. So I didn't hear, I didn't see the closed captioning on this specific slide, but you can have them.